Okay guys, so today let me teach you how to get custom knife models or weapon models for that matter to work in CS2 for your workshop maps. Now the reason I took so long to actually make this video is because of Animgraph 2 that I updated. So the old method that we used to use was no longer working. So also because there were no guides online explaining how to do it. So I usually would have to brute force all the way and get it working. But now that we are here, you can see it and I'm going to explain to you exactly how to get it working. You can see the CG right here, there's the weapon. Same thing as the T, and even if I drop it, there's our knife right there. And if I give a knife with the console, it gives me that exact knife. So let's get on with the tutorial. Let me explain to you how to do it. So, first of all, you want to go to Game Banana. Right here, you have all these weapon mods, you know, skins, service type weapons. I'm going to leave you this link in the description. So, you see all sorts of knives. Most of them they don't work because they use the old anim graph. So, all of these they don't work. The only one that's working is this one, the Blooming Rose. So you want to click on it. Here, you see that it's been updated recently. So, now it's compatible with anim graph 2. You just download it. And after you download it, here you get this folder. So, obviously, this you need to extract it into your add ons folder. Carsha Global Offensive Game CSGO add ons the name of the add-on so custom weapon it is in here that you want to extract that so here i have it so just drag this folder right there now let's go into hammer and the first thing you want to do is you want to create a prop dynamic entity and you want to find that world model so weapons this is the folder structure it moves one knife blooming rose blooming rose underscore ag2 so this is right where we extracted it here's the model and you can see here's the name of the add-on custom weapon weapons noobs knife blooming rose there it is so after you do this you should see the knife right here in your map the next thing is you need Source 2 Viewer. You want to open Source 2 Viewer, Contract 2, and you have these two files, Pack 01 there. One that says Core and one that says CSGO. Open the one that says CSGO, go to Scripts, and in here you have this Weapons V Data. So you want to right click, Decompile and Export, and you want to go this time to Content, not to Game. Content, the name of the atom, and in here you want to create a Scripts folder, and in here you want to extract this file. You save it. Perfect. As a user list, let's go to that Script file. Open the add-on, scripts, and the first thing you want to do is you want to search, okay, knife, default, underscore, T, let's replace it on the T first. You want to find, here we have these different lines, and the first one that shows up, you don't want to worry about that one, instead you want to replace the one that says AG2. So go back into Hammer, double click your prop dynamic, copy all of this, and let's replace it. So, this entire line that says underscore AG2, let's select it, replace it. And it's paste weapons, noobs, fire, blooming box. Replace them all. You should it replace it on two occurrences. So let's save now. And let's go to our map. I'm gonna run it because I already compiled it. And there you go. You see the terrace? It already has the knife in its hand. So there's the knife. And you can see this other terrace has it. Now let's go with the CTs. Let's replace their knife. You wanna search the same thing. Knife default CT. Okay? So here again, AG2. Select all of these replace it Control f and you want to replace it with that one model so replace them all you see that this time four occurrences were replaced and you save it and if you did it right you don't even need to run the file again you see the cts now have this knife let me switch sides now you don't see the knife because i need to restart the map restart game and there you go and you see it on the ct's leg now i'm going to switch to t and you see that i have the knife so pretty cool Hope you guys liked today's tutorial. I mean, it took me like forever to do it again because of Animgraph being constantly updated by Valve. But fortunately, we solved it. And hopefully in the future, I'm gonna be able to also create my own knife models. And I'm gonna be posting tutorials as to how to do it. Naturally, what I'm gonna have to do is decompile this model and see the way it was created. Guys, thank you so very much for visiting. I hope you liked today's tutorial. And see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.